Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Stay. This is Coloring Bliss. I've got little Rose with me today and she and I are going to show you the best way that I have found to organize my color pencil sets. Now I have two sets that need a final little tweak to make the organization system perfect. I'm going to share with you how I do that and show you these beautiful pencils. But before I get started, I need to tell you about our giant, massive, big giveaway. <laughs> so this giant giveaway to celebrate the beginning of our new year, let me show you what one of you has a chance to win. And remember, there's links in the video description so that you can follow it and get your entries in. The first part of this prize that's worth over $370 is this, the full set of Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils full set one of you gets to enjoy this amazing product. Now to go along with that set I've included the 12 Derwent light fast pencils that you need to be able to complete the combined tritone sets. Now we've talked about this several times in past videos. I'll link a video down below that will take you over to um, the very first video we did for this giveaway where I described and explained why you need these 12 pencils to go along with your Luminance set. Now I've also included a Niji roll. This is a pencil roll, not a very expensive one, but it's perfect because it holds 36 pencils, which is the exact number of pencils that come in that tritone set. Three pencils for every color on the color wheel. So this little Niji roll will come in very handy as you are organizing your giveaway prize. And to help you with that organizing, we've included this, the Tritone Worksheet Workbook that's for the combined Caran d'Ache Luminance and Derwent Light Fast Color Pencils. I'll be talking more about this book here in just a minute because this is a vital part of how I'm organizing my pencils today in their cases. So good luck everyone. If you're watching this video after the giveaway is over, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you'll get notified the next time there is a giveaway. Today, the 25th of January, is the last day to get your entries in and the winner will be announced tomorrow, January 26th, via email. Good luck everyone! Alright, so let's quickly talk about how I like to organize my color pencil sets. I collect color pencils and I love them and I use them and I want them in an organized manner so that when I sit down to use them, they're just quick and easy to grab the colors that I want and need. So the two sets of color pencils we're going to work on today. First is the Caran d'Ache Luminance pencil set. And I have that in this black case right here. And I'll show you inside these cases and tell you why I like them so much. And then I also have my Derwent Light Fast pencils in this case right here that need a little last minute touch to make the organization system perfect. And then I have the Niji roll. Now in the description of the giveaway that I just gave you, I talked about this Niji roll and how it holds 36 pencils. This is the 36 combined tritone pencils right here. So there's both luminance and light fast pencils in this pencil roll. And it needs one last touch as well so that it's perfectly organized. So let me show you inside this case here. Slow that up there, put this up here. Inside these cases, these, I believe these cases will hold over 100 pencils. I think it's 120 pencils per case. And I have them organized a very specific way. So let's talk about that as we go here because it's really important that you can find the pencil you want quickly. You don't want anything to slow down your creative process. So we have organized both of these sets into what I call the Coloring Bliss ecosystem or the perfect Coloring Bliss order. So we order it from yellow all the way around the color wheel back to yellow green. And we spend a lot of time getting it organized this way. So I have my set here, this case, set up in two different ways. One is the 36 pencils. So up front here is, let me show you, room for all 36, three pencils per loop. And that's why I like these cases so much because they hold three pencils per loop. Now I have little paper clips here and that's part of what we're going to be working on today and I'll show you what they're for here in a minute. 
And then the rest of the pencil set, I put in the order that is made by Coloring Bliss. And of course I skip any that have to go over here in this section. So it starts at yellow, moves to yellow, orange, to orange, to red, like that red, through to red, violet, violet, blue, violet, blue, blue, green, and then yellow, green at the very end. And then we have all of our neutrals and black and white. And then the Caran d'Ache Luminance pencil set comes with some um, colorless blenders. So I included that at the end. Beautiful colorless blenders. These are some of my favorite ones to purchase and they work really great with any brand of color pencil. So that's how this set is all organized. And same with my Derwent, the Light Fast set. They're in their own case. All my Derwent products have this sort of bluish color for their um, their cases. So my Albert Durers are organized this way. My um, and all my other Derwents are all organized in this color. So we have the same deal going on here. Let me flip this around. I've got my. 36 up front, my 36 tritones that we can organize and get just the right way. And then I have them organized starting this time, the yellow is at this end, yellow all the way through the color wheel and then to the neutrals. So it's all organized. I can find my pencils really quickly. Now the tritones, they correspond with the book that I showed in the giveaway. And let me show you, I have a fully printed, fully colored Tombow version of this book. And it gets, it has a special page right here that shows all of the light mediums and darks, the three pencils that are chosen for each of the colors on the color wheel. So I have those prepared and ready for each of these sets over here. And then what we're going to be working with today is on this page. This is a, st a swatch strip that has all the colors, their color names and numbers, although they're so tiny, you almost need a magnifying glass to be able to see the lettering and the words, but it's enough that you can um, label and identify each of the tritones in your pencil case. So I had Steve print the strip off for each of them. We have the Caran d'Ache Luminance combination with the Derwent Lightfast. That's the set that's right here in this Niji roll. And then I have one printed off for the Luminance and one printed off for the Derwent Lightfast. Now, if you would like access to all of these beautiful um, swatch charts and swatch strips, just follow the link in the video description and you can see how you can either get your own printed version version of this or a digital version of all of these resources. And we have a lot of different brands. So if you have a favorite brand like the Tombos or Prismacolors, you can go and see if we have already set up a system around that particular brand. Okay, so what I need to do next is color up all of these strips so that they have the correct color corresponding with every color on the color wheel in their tiny, cute little swatch strip position. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and cue the music montage. We'll start by coloring up the combined because I have those all so nice and neat in the Derwent, in the Niji roll. So let's color up the combined set first. Now this first swatch strip is the combined Caran d'Ache Luminance and Derwent Light Fast Color Pencils. And I generally don't combine brands. I usually keep them separate in their own sets. But for this purpose, because these two sets can benefit from being combined with each other, I've decided to go ahead and do this. I'm now working on the swatch strip for the Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils. And these 36 pencils are a little trickier because some of them are in the combined set and some of them are in my case for the Luminance pencils. So probably what I'm going to do is take them all out of the Niji roll and put them temporarily back into the Luminance case just to make sure I get them colored correctly. 
Now you'll notice as I'm working through these little swatches that there are some pencils that are used multiple times. And what I've done is put a little star above those little swatches so I know to look for those pencils in a different tritone if it's not in that particular loop. The final swatch strip I'm working on here is for the Derwent Lightfast Tritones. So we'll be pulling all of the pencils from the Niji strip. So I will put them all together in their official tritones in their case so they're ready to be labeled. All right, we've got all three strips all colored up. Let me show you how they look all together because it's just so pretty. Look at all those colors. So cool. Okay, so I had to take apart the Niji roll to complete the other two strips. and um, But we'll set up the Niji roll so that if I um, want to put the combined tritones back together again over here in the Niji roll, it'll be all ready to go. So the next step is I need to cut these strips out and get them ready to be laminated. Now laminating these little swatch tags isn't necessary, especially if you've printed your um, swatch strip onto some nice heavy paper. But I want these to last a long time and look good on camera, so I'm going to take the extra step and laminate them. For that, I'm using my swing line laminator, a nice laminating pouch, and get these all sealed up. All right, the next step is to cut them apart. Just carefully like this. All right, next step is to take my little hole punch. I've had this for decades and it's still going. It's a little broken, but it'll work. <laughs> and at the top of each little tag, we're going to put in a hole punch right over the center part of each tag. Okay, hole punch. Now I need to cut them apart into tags and I don't want to get them all confused so we're only going to cut the set that we're working on and I believe, no that's the mix set, this is the Luminance. So let's start with Luminance and bring this out and we're going to cut these down to tags and then after I've cut them down we will Put them into the book. Okay, cutting. All right, now we get to put them all into the book and the way I do this is just hook it over that little end there. Well, I don't think you can see. Let me go like this. Actually, let's look this way and you can see how I just hook this in here. What if we go up and underneath? There, that works much faster. Okay, there's tag number one. Now we go to yellow, orange. I like to organize my books um, by, like I said, by the color wheel, but I also like to do it from yellow towards the warm colors. So instead of going yellow to yellow green, we're going yellow to yellow orange. And then to orange, up underneath, hook it through, and pull it down. Aren't they cute? Okay, I'll hurry and set them all up here, and then I'll show you the final Luminance book. All right, my Luminance book is officially set up. I have all the tritones set up, all 12 of them here up up front. 
and then it goes the same way that this is organized yellow to yellow orange to orange will be for the rest of the book and then here are our neutrals and blacks and whites so that's all organized and ready to color now i'll repeat the same process on the derwent light fast pencils This book is almost perfect. What I discovered is I've done this backwards, so the yellows should start here and go to the neutrals. So I'm going to take just a minute and um, rotate those around the way that I want them. Probably start about right here to give the tritones over here a little space. All right, let's swap some pencils around. All right, we've got the Derwent Light Fist Fast book finally all organized. So we have our tritones up front, and then it goes into yellows, moving through the warm colors just like this, into the blues and the greens, and then into the neutrals, and finally the black and the white at the very end. It's nice to have some extra loops, so if I pull out some colors to color with them, I can put them here, stage them here, and then find them quick and easy as I'm working with the tools. Now another thing you can do with these little tags if you don't like them moving so much is just add a little dab of hot glue and glue them to the um, paper clip so that they stay straight and sturdy. But I don't mind them moving. In fact, I think it's, it's kind of charming the way they shimmy and shake. <laughs> okay, last one to set up and then I feel like I've got everything organized. And that is with the Niji Roll right here. And I'm going to grab some paper clips. I have these colorful paper clips that I've had for years that come in handy for this particular project. Make sure I've got a, a good selection of colors here to choose from. Okay, now let's cut these up and hang them. And I'm just going to leave this empty with the little tags hung so it's ready to go when I wanna combine the two sets. All right, the Niji roll is all complete and ready for pencils when I wanna combine the two sets. So I can just fold this up and keep it with these two really pretty cases and I'm fully organized. So what is the perfect way to organize color pencils? In my opinion, it is by the Coloring Bliss color scheme system. We give you the correct, <laughs> order for all of the pencils. We give you light, mediums, and darks for every color on the color wheel, and then we give you hundreds of color schemes to support that system. It's all there waiting for you to get your pencils organized in the perfect way. I hope you learned a lot from watching this video. I'm excited that I'm all organized and ready to color now. Now I just need to pick a coloring page, pick a coloring scheme, grab my pencils, and I'll be coloring. If you enjoyed this video and learned anything from it, make sure you hit a thumbs up on your way out. Thank you for all of your support, and I hope you all have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. Bye-bye, everyone.